Hey, uh, today I want us to continue our thinking through um, what it means to let go of um, whatever it is that we've been holding on to, that we're attached to. It might be an addiction, it might be an obsession, um, probably is. <laughs> Um, might be around possessions or a position that we think we got to have or some power we want and crave. Um, it's all those things that, that, um, that pull us away from our, our commitment to, to be in Christ, to be in His kingdom, to walk in sync with Him. Um, for those that, that um, uh, I communicate to, it, it's a theme. It's a dominant theme. I try, to, uh, I try to announce it, declare it, highlight it, emphasize that there is... Uh, power, uh, a power, a toxic power in these worldly attachments that pull us away from the world of God's kingdom. Um, these powerful God distractions uh, oftentimes uh, can range from anything from uh, something that I hold tightly to in my hands or in my head, from something that I thought to something that I bought, purchased. Uh, they are the path of my money and the path um, of my mentality. They're the things that I'm distracted by and that I'm dedicated to. And all these things are the things that can pull me away, as it did the rich ruler in Luke 18, from a willingness to surrender and let go and take hold of Jesus in his kingdom. Today I'm, I'm hoping that you will just recognize that that if you are if you are in that struggle, welcome. Welcome to the struggle. It's what we all struggle with. It's interesting in the text, probably about verses 26 through about I think 28, um, Jesus is, is declaring this this issue and and looks at the man and says it's hard to enter the kingdom of God. Um, harder for a rich man to enter the kingdom than for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Um, and those that are listening say, well, how could anybody be saved? And Jesus says, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And so I've been saying this little phrase, um, impossible possibilities. That's what disciples have. That's what Christ followers embrace, these impossible possibilities. And, and, the, and the comparison that, that, that Luke makes uh, in Jesus' teaching in Luke 18 about the rich ruler and the blind beggar, is a, is an, they are a juxtaposition for a reason. He wants us to see that one had a me-centered kingdom, a me-centered world, a me-centered faith. The other had a God-centered faith. The first says, what can I do? And it tends to look at all the things we're attached to, thinking for some reason they make us more capable or more valuable. And we oftentimes find our identity getting all woven into them. And God wants to shatter those things, enabling us like that blind beggar to come willingly and say, God, give me sight, help me see. And that's what we want to do today. We want to see what we maybe haven't seen, where I've been attached, what, what I've hold, held on to that keeps me from embracing fully this trusting, loving, uh, burgeoning relationship with Jesus. <laughs> he invites us into that. And for those of us that are in that good fight, for those of us that recognize we want that liberation and that freedom that Jesus offers us, we, we need to recognize that what Peter said then, Peter says, we've left everything and followed you. And then Jesus comes back, and it's interesting, he almost itemizes things we can become attached to. He says, whoever, I want you to know that whoever has left uh, wife or parent or possessions or, he just lists all these things, all these things that, that can become attachments, things we hold on to in place of him. And he says, whoever's let go of those, he will receive many more of whatever they've let go of, both in this life and the life to come. And for those, so therefore, those who are fighting this good fight, for those who want to be liberated, what does Jesus offer to us but the keys of the kingdom? He invites us a reconciliation of relationships. The broken relationships, relationships you're trying to hold on to, I will mend those, I will replace those, I'll give you more than those. He's saying, trust me, trust me, trust me. 
follow, enter into my kingdom, and you will experience life in this kingdom, in this life, and in the life to come. Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, that you empower us, Lord, to let go of those things that are inferior, to take hold of that which is superior. Lord, that you invite us to let go of all these worldly attachments to take hold of one divine relationship that can change everything else. Lord, it's that that we put our trust in. It's you we put our hope in. Jesus, empower us to be people that are constantly pivoting toward you and your kingdom. We ask that, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks so much for being with me. God bless.